so proud of myself today. I'm so proud of myself. You know what? Yeah. All right, we here, Major League. Now this movie won the poll over on Patreon. Patreon, yeah, I know y'all just watch me do all of that. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle, here to bring you to ya. Na 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 on www.patreon.com slash Mr. Video. Or it'll be in the description. But yeah, we do music over there. We warm up before the movie. <laughs> so as I'm talking to y'all, I'll be having to remember they still watching this part. Um, or I can just cut it out. No, I mean, I can keep it in there. I, Major League. Y'all see how my brain works. Y'all know I'm ADHD. We hear y'all. This movie won the poll over on Patreon. We've been trying to do a lot of polls over there. To get more, you know, picks that you guys want to see. So, Major League won the sports movie poll. Um, Big Pete, <laughs> I know you're out there watching. I put Rudy in there. Rudy yeah, got dusted out. Sorry. Okay, I still got to watch it, I feel like. Gee. Um, let's just get into the movie, y'all. If, you, if you're here, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's get into what Major League has to offer I'm interested because this one won over a few movies that I thought would honestly win I'm not gonna lie so Major League won so let's get see what the major deal is <laughs> that, did that work let's see what the I can't get it I can't get it Major League what's up Cleveland Ohio baby that's where I'm from not Cleveland but from Ohio I'm not a big in baseball, y'all, but I do know Derek Jeter and the Yankees. I know a few other, but I don't know too much. I actually played baseball. I just don't know a lot of the players, you know. No disrespect to the sport. <laughs> I know it's one of the biggest. The no. Indian owner died. Wow. Good morning, gentlemen. And welcome to another season of Indians Baseball. I know it may not seem the same without Donald here, but I promise you, by the end of the season, we will have made history. Unfortunately, there are some in the press who feel that the ex-showgirl wife of Donald Phelps has no business being the owner of a Major League Baseball team. Spring training begins in two weeks. Here's a list of the players we'll be inviting to camp. I never heard of half of these guys, and the ones I do know are way past the prime. Most of these guys never had a prime. The facts are, we lost our two best players to free agency. We haven't won a pennant in over 35 years. We haven't placed higher than fourth in the last 15. Obviously, it's time for some changes. This guy got here a bitchy is attitude. dead. Cross him off then. How do you think the Indians will do this year? <laughs> Not too good with this lady at the head. These guys don't look too good. <laughs> Even it is a whole tone. That's on Oh, hi, Charlie. Come in, have a seat. I'm uh, still unclear about a couple of things. Oh, really? Like what? Well, if I'm the GM, I'm going to be the manager. I was thinking of Lou Brown. Who's Lou Brown? He's managed the Toledo Mud Hens of the International League for the last 30 years. What exactly is our team concept? That's what I wanted to talk to you about, Charlie. I want to put together a team that'll help us relocate to Miami. Some of these guys are furniture movers? I'm serious about this, Charlie. It's no secret I've never liked Cleveland much. Mm -hmm. The stadium's falling apart. We don't draw dick. The weather's lousy. A couple of years of this, and I'm going to have to start feeding Cha-Cha real dog food. You just can't up and move a team on a whim. It's hardly a whim. Miami's offered to build us a new stadium. 45 VIP boxes. And for me, a mansion in Boca Raton, plus free membership in the Palm Beach Polo and Country Club. You don't give a crap about the Indians. She worry about her. The league will never let us leave Cleveland. We got a lease with the city. The lease says we have the right to move if the attendance falls below 800,000 for the year, paragraph 40, line 17. If we play bad enough, we should be able to come in under that. What are you saying? Want us to lose? No. We've been losing. What I want is for us to finish dead last. I don't like her. Get her out there. Cleveland. 
It ain't looking good for the Indians this year. It's not looking good. She's trying to move a whole baseball team to Miami. I, that's crazy. I mean, she is the owner. Well, yeah. Hello, Jake. This is Charlie Donovan, the new GM of the Cleveland Indians. We'd love for you to come to spring training for a shot at this year's club. Is that you, Tolbert? This is very funny, you know. I'm hungover. My knees are killing me, and if you're going to pull this shit, at least you could have said you were from the Yankees. <laughs> you think it's a prank? <laughs> this is Charlie Donovan with the Cleveland Indians. How would you like to manage the Indians this year? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? This is a chance to manage in the big leagues. Let me think it over, will you, Charlie? I got a guy on the other line about some white walls. I'll talk to you later. Rick, we heard about your pitching out of Boardman last year. Not really with them anymore. We'd still like to take a look at you at our spring camp. Charlie Arizona, Sheen. March the 1st. Not sure I can make it by then. What the hell Charlie Sheen doing in jail? <laughs> they call in jail to get players. This can't be good. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Jake Taylor. He's an all-star at Boston, wasn't he? Yeah, wound up in the Mexican League. Had some problems with his knees. We had him two years ago. We did. Four years ago, then. <laughs> Jake Taylor still looked like he can, you know, be somebody. Oh, oh hell no. Nah. What's this? Must be Serrano. Defected from Cuba. He wanted religious freedom. What's his religion? Voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no, I ain't messing with him. Oh, Lord. Thought you didn't have any high priced talent. Forgot about Dorn, because he's only high priced. Picked him up as a free agent three years ago. He hits the ball pretty well, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Dorn! I don't recognize this guy. Say hey! Billy Mays Hayes here. Wesley! Play like Mays, and I run like Hayes. How you doing? How you doing? My man. Lou Brown, nice to meet you, Hayes. The parking lot is right out there. Thanks. Oh, and uh, don't you guys go anywhere. I plan to put on a hitting display. <laughs> I don't remember a Hayes on the list. <laughs> Dude, like Look at this <laughs> guy. <laughs> Harris, how you doing? Hey, that weave is looking good. Huh? It's better than that rug of yours. Whoa! Now the freak show candidate. How do you cut your hair, Rook? Vegematic? The earrings cute too. Have you got the uh matching bracelet? Fetch head? Don't worry. Whoa. I'll be the jerk off here. <laughs> Mr. Tough Guy. Uh -huh. Hi, Jake Taylor. So you got a name or are you gonna settle for veg head? Vaughn. Rick Vaughn. Hi, Rick. Hey, uh, forget about Dorn. He's always a little tough on the rookies. You get a lot worse from other clubs. Say hey! How you doing? Willie Mays Hayes here. Jake Taylor here. Uh, Rick uh, Vaughn. What the hell league you been playing in? California <laughs> Penal. <laughs> Never heard of it. He jail How'd league, you end man. up playing there? Stole a car. <laughs> hey, big guy. You a golfer? Hats for bats. Yeah? What's your handicap? Keep bats warm. Glasses. What? Whoa, amigo, I, uh... What? You can't... Ju You're welcome. <laughs> I thought he had baseball bats in the, what the hell do he got golf clubs for we're here for baseball Dorn this is the guy that wasn't invited to camp let's take his ass out oh You're my brother no dogs allowed no strays Willie Mays hey I've been cut already <laughs> Who the hell is that? That's Willie Mays Hey, Running like the wind. With no shoes on for the wind. <laughs> Get him a uniform. Get him the... Uh, <laughs> for it. How's the knees holding up? Great. Never been better. Mobility's good. No problem getting off the throat a second. No problem. I need a catcher, Jake. Somebody who can lead this team on the field. So I want the absolute truth here. Are you 100%? Yeah, would I bullshit you about something like that? You better, you want to make this team. You better. Second like base! <laughs> uh oh. Shit. Yeah, looking like 70%. <laughs> Bye, ball. Bye, ball. <laughs> <laughs>
Vamos, vamos, oh, United. Oh, oh, well, you may run like maze, but you hit like shit. With your speed, you should hit the ball on the ground and be legging them out. Every time I see you hit one in the air, you owe me 20 push-ups. 20 of them. <laughs> They tell us you're a pitcher. You're sure not much of a dresser. We wear caps and sleeves at this level, son. Understood? All right, let's see what you can do. <laughs> oh! Nice velocity. Sounded like it. How much? 96. Better teach this kid some control before he kills somebody. <laughs> Almost got me. Don't oh, give me this ole bulls. Look, I took one of those in the eye last year. I'm not about to lose my sight. Time deeply moved. Every time you play one off your hips, you owe me 40 sit up. What? Oh my god, here go this guy. Look like Barry Bonds up there. Oh! He is Barry! We got one! Jesus, this guy hits a ton. How come nobody else picked up on him? I'll start to break a ball. Hey! Oh. Oh. Can't hit a can't hit a change up. I want a word with you here? About those sit-ups you want me to do? I got a right here in my contract says I don't have to do any calisthenics I don't feel unnecessary. So what do you think about that? <laughs> oh! That's what I think about your contract. <laughs> 200 push-ups. How am I supposed to hit if I can't lift my arm? Why is it they red tagged me already? What do you mean? Get a red tag in your locker it means the manager wants to see you because you just died and went down to the minors. Hey, don't worry, kid. I ain't gonna cut anybody the first day. <laughs> no words. What's that shit on your chest? Crisco. <laughs> Bar doll. <laughs> Any one of them will give you another two to three inches drop on your curveball. Of course, if the umps are watching me close, I just rub a little jalapeno inside my nose, get it running, and if I need to load the ball up a little, just wipe my nose. You put snot on the ball? I haven't got an arm like yours. I gotta put anything on it I can find. Someday you will too. You cheating? What kind of cheating? Ayuda me en este momento. Para que me des el poder. Te daré mi devoción. Para siempre. Poderoso. Hey, pasa there, Pedro. <laughs> I cannot hit curveball. Straight ball, I hit it very much. Yeah. Curveball. No hit. Bats are afraid. I asked Joe Boo to come. Take fear from bats. I offer him. Cigar, wrong. He will come. You know, you might think about taking Jesus Christ as your savior instead of fooling around with all this stuff. <laughs> Jesus, I like him very much. But he no help with curveball. Trying to say Jesus Christ can't hit a curveball? Okay, Harris, let's We not don't start know. a holy war here. They have baseball in heaven? Wouldn't leave it. Rum sitting around out here with this group. <laughs> It's very bad to steal Joe Boo's rum. It's very bad. CC Pedro. <laughs> oh, yeah, he gonna kill somebody with that fastball. Yeah, Cleveland is not looking. Oh my god! <laughs> Do baseball have good, you know, medics on hand <laughs> at the game? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Got a gardener snake. <laughs> Didn't work. Garner Snake didn't work. <laughs> I almost had you. Final cut down day, right? Great so. I don't want to go in there. Uh, whatever happens, you just keep it to yourselves until you get out of clubhouse. You don't want to celebrate in front of guys who just died. Yeah. But what if we're one of the deceased, huh? Come on, Jake. It's only your life. We good, Jake. We good, Taylor. Damn. Man, he better make the team. Nobu, come on. 
Pull it through. <laughs> Your black ass made the team. I mean, you made the team. Oh, oh, huh? <laughs> Mine, what we got? Oh. God. I got news for you, Mr. Brown. You haven't heard the last of me. You may think I'm shit now, but someday you're going to be sorry that you cut me. I'm going to catch you on somewhere else, and every time that I pitch against you, I'm going to stick it up your fucking ass. Good. The only problem is I didn't cut you. What? I think someone's been having some fun with you. Dorn. It's got to be Dorn. Yeah. Ah! Shut up, Dorn. Save <laughs> all that energy for the field. Got a long way to go before the season's over. Hey, forget about Dorn. You got other things to do. Like what? Like packing for Cleveland. Oh, screw Dorn. Get sucked up a hole. I never heard of most of them. Who are these fucking guys? <laughs> Cleveland fans are not happy. <laughs> Two down. Bottom of the ninth. Game is tied. Taylor calls his shot. There's the pitch. I like a home run, baby. Bring him home. Yeah. Woo! Oh, boy. Oh, you really got a hold of that one? Uh, slider? <laughs> it was out of here. <laughs> Are you gentlemen ready to order? You look like a banker in this. <laughs> Sorry, Rick. Those are the house rules. So, what are we going to have? What language the menu is this? upside down. French? <laughs> Got chili dogs over there? Forget it, I'll order. Let's have a toast. Here's the baseball. And to the start of two great careers. And for me, just one more good year in the sun. A chick? Yeah. That's my wife. <laughs> oh, Does she know that? She would have been if I hadn't messed it up. Who's that guy she's with? I don't know. He's not wearing a name tag. You want me to drag him out of here? You got a career now, Dorn. I mean, uh, Vaughn. Miss Wesselin, there's a telephone call for you at the desk. Hello, Lynn. It's Jake. How'd you know I was here? Uh, just a hunch. I took you there when you got your master's degree, remember? Be too smooth. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in Mexico somewhere? Well, I'm playing with the Indians again. Back in the bigs. Well, that's great. That's, that's great. You think I'm happy for you? Hang it up, Lynn. <laughs> I gotta get back. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I need your number. I tried calling you at home, but you're not listed. My life is different from when you knew me, Jake. Meaning what? I don't know you anymore? Couldn't we talk about this some other time? I really gotta get back. Okay, just give me the number. I don't think that's a good idea. Please, he's watching us. I'm not leaving till you give me your number. Jeez, Jake. All right, it's 555. Thank you. I'm back. <laughs> I'm gonna be around. <laughs> I got a new way to get a number. All right. Can I have your number? And I'm not leaving until you give it to me. What the? Relax, kid. We got 162 of these games to go. All right, everybody. We got 10 minutes to game time. Let's all gather around. I'm not much for giving inspirational addresses. I'd just like to point out that every newspaper in the country has picked us to finish last. The local press seems to think we'd save everyone a lot of time and trouble if we just went out and shot ourselves. Hey! <laughs> Me, I'm for wasting sports writers' time. So, I'd like to hang around and see if we can give them all a nice big shit burger to eat. <laughs> <laughs> just shove it down his throat. Shit burger, skip? Yeah, no boo don't know hey, about those. Aren't we gonna have a prayer? I mean, uh, we're not all <laughs> savages like Serrano over there. Chingate, cabron. Now you guys go ahead, son. Let's all bow our heads. Excuse me, I'll be in my office. Dorn! Dear Heavenly Father, we humbly pray that you will guide... Jesus Christ, Serrano. <laughs> Have to wake up back. 
Okay, wake up back. Can we try this again? Yeah, the wake is better. <laughs> As we gird up our loins to take the field of battle, lead us on into victory oh. in the name of Jesus. <laughs> 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 Buddy it's Harry Doyle to clean here stadium welcoming down. all you no friends blue. of the feather to another season of Indians baseball. A lot of new faces in Chief <laughs> Wahoo's tribe this year as they take on the defending American League champs, the New York Yankees. And hopefully we'll have some of the names that go with those faces before their first at-bat. Anyway, listen to the roar of the crowd as the Indians take the field. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. They love this club here in Cleveland. Hey, Cleveland, have a shout for them. Free admission to anyone who was actually alive the last time the Indians won a pennant. <laughs> Here's to the thrill of defeat, Charlie. He's under it. Get it, hey. He makes a basket get catch it, hey. in style. And the side is retired. Yeah, Jay, don't ever even do it again. All right, let's go. Let's get it going. Now go. to Cleveland. You can tell how the season's going to go by the first hitter of the year. Brewster into the wind and comes to the plate. Oops. Hey, here's a hot shot toward the home. Fires the first. Late. Hayes beat it. So Hayes becomes the first Indian in 15 years to lead off the season with a hit. Really knocked the crap out of that one. Plan to get at least a double out of this. I bought a hundred of these. One for every base I'm going to steal. Let's go, Jackie. 42. Got to take my first step toward the Hall of Fame. My ass. We don't know where Hayes played last year, but I'm sure he did a hell of a job. With a good lead. You look real sharp, but it's hard to steal second base with your shoe untied. Oh, quick move to first. Got he got him. Hayes is picked off. Uh, <laughs> well, so much for that. Yes. Top of the sixth and rookie sensation Ricky Vaughn on the pitch now. Number you can close the book on Kelder. Vaughn. Thank God. We're only four runs now. We're still in this game. Oh, crap. Bring the Take medic team. Him. Vaughn, a juvenile delinquent in the offseason in his major league debut. Gonna light your ass up, me. Vaughn into the windup in his first offering. Just a bit outside. He tried the corner and missed. Ball four. Vaughn. Ball eight. Big ball eight. <laughs> Low and Vaughn has walked the bases loaded on 12 straight pitches. Boy, God, how can these fun. guys lay off pitches that close? Wild thing. Wow, you make my heart sing. <laughs> you walk everything. Hey, what are you doing back up here? Ah, couldn't cut it the Mexican League. Vaughn in deep trouble here with Clue Haywood, last year's American League home run champ at the plate. Fires. Here is a swing and a drive toward left field and deep. Oh, boy. No way. No way. Too high. He is gone off the reservation. A grand slam home run for Haywood. If I could strike anyway. Where you going? So Vaughn is off to a rocky start as Haywood clears the bases with one swing. Not too high. Too hard, right? First, it was really high. high. Who gives a shit? It's gone. <laughs> it's out of here either way. Well, Brown apparently is going to stay with Vaughn here as the Indians trail now 8 to nothing. Coleman steps in. A 281 lifetime hitter. Taylor with a sign. Vaughn into his motion and the pitch. Oh! Uh -oh. Interesting. You're gone! What? Hey! You heard me, you're gone! It was an accident! You threw at him intentionally! Oh, kiss my ass! You're gone! You blow me up! You're gone! <laughs> Alright, Coleman, take it easy. Accidents will happen. You show a lot of heart shaking it off like this. Oh. Don't even think about it, Coleman. Coleman? They were cheated at getting the object that they were trying to the establish. Like Still arguing about that, that damn pitch. The Erie Warriors as they drop a heartbreaker to the Yankees, nine to nothing. Post game show is brought to you by Christ. I can't find it. The hell with it. <laughs> he, uh, he done with that Jack Daniel. <laughs> he still don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, uh, you wouldn't happen to have someone working there named Lynn Westland, would you? Nah, nobody here by that name. Didn't take so. Gave him the wrong number. Lynn! Unless he do got a boyfriend. Jake, you shouldn't have come here. I was wondering why you'd give an old friend a bum phone number. Let's talk in my office, okay? I don't want to talk in your office. I don't think it's a good idea that we see each other. Why not? Because we don't have anything in common. Sometimes I wonder if we ever did. What are you talking about? We were both athletes, world class, hot for each other. What more could we have in common? I stopped being an athlete three years ago, Jake. Books are my life now. Don't you dare laugh. In two years, I put together one of the best special collection departments in the country. What is this? I'm still sore I never read Moby Dick? Uh, you never read anything I asked you to. All right, I'll check it out now. Oh, is this the whale section? I'll bet what's his name at the restaurant oh. read it. What 
you see in this guy? Well, he's stable. I never found him in bed with a stewardess. That's because no stewardess would have. Hey, wouldn't you rather be with someone who's in demand? It's just like always. You don't take anything seriously. Everything's a joke to you. For Christ's sake, I'm just trying to loosen things up. I'm getting frostbite. Tom and I are getting married in the fall. Oh! And that's crazy. I had plans for us. Plans? I haven't seen you in three years. You never even wrote me a letter. Well, I'm sorry about that, but I wasn't exactly proud of my situation. You never thought about me at all while I was gone? Yeah, Jake, not so loud. What about the night you had in Detroit with Miss Fuel Injection? She what is not forgetting that night he teed it. She had a better body than you had to defend oh, your arm. What a bunch of bullshit! I have a much better body than she does. Yeah! We ain't turned up in this bitch! She's right. <laughs> you haven't changed at all, have you? I'm afraid I have. I wouldn't be here. Jake, I'm sorry. You'll just always be the little boy who wouldn't grow up. Lynn. Sound like some something somebody told me before. A woman told me that before. Shit! <laughs> I'm Jake. Seven games out of first. That's bad. It's not bad enough. Plus, team is showing signs of improvement. I didn't think we'd win 15 games all year. Any ideas? On how we can get worse? Mm. How about a series of fines for good play? Maybe a $30,000 bonus for the guy or at least valuable player. Maybe the problem is we're coddling these guys too much. Yeah. This chick really trying to get them to do bad. She's mad that they're actually winning games. Maybe the jetway isn't working. And this is good. This is real good. 757 in Milwaukee? No, that's not your plane. Yours is this one rolling in. A 575. Oh. Oh, sure. Now you come around. So the sons of Geronimo still suffering from propeller lag are nipped by the Brewers tonight 7 to nothing. Only excitement for the tribe provided by Rick Vaughn, who set an American League record by throwing four wild pitches in one inning. Hey, congratulations, Rick. <laughs> Your eye, hey. Bond, that fans. I saw your record on the news. You made their hall of shame. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. It's an achievement. Thank you. Nice hair. Oh, you're a celebrity now, Vaughn. Call the stewardess, Vaughn. I need one of those bags. There aren't any stewardesses. I wonder if there are any pilots. <laughs> Don't worry, open your eyes, scaredy cat. For the Indians, one run on, let's see, one hit. That's all we got, one goddamn hit. <laughs> you can't say goddamn on the air. Don't worry, nobody's listening anyway. <laughs> you gotta stay off that Bye jack. Or give me some. Moby Dick. What you reading that for? This happens to be a masterpiece of American literature, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't turn you on to that? Yeah. Yeah, long time ago. Mm. Well, look, if we ever get out of here, me and the guys, we're going to go to a club later on tonight. You want to come along? Oh, I got some reading to do. What, you got a test or something? Hey, Jake, man, why don't you just go over there and see her? I mean, maybe she'll let you slide on a couple of these. Well, I would if I knew where she lived. That's easy. Just tailor home from the library. That's kind of juvenile, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So? He did it. <laughs> Jake, this is not fair to be applying this type of pressure. This woman getting married. Jake, this isn't my place. Who is this, love? Who's is it? Oh, Mr. Taylor, right? Yeah. I remember you from the restaurant. Lynn's told me a lot about you. Uh, why don't you come in for a while? Uh, no, I, I really ought to be running along. <laughs> yeah, he's got to get going. Yeah. <laughs> come on in for a drink. Come on in for a drink. Well, this is Jake Taylor. Jake? Arthur and Claire Holloway. Janice Bowden. How do you do? How are you? Hi. Jake is a professional baseball player. Really? I wanted to discuss a couple of books with Lynn, and I thought this was her place. <laughs> <laughs> well, it soon will be. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Slight flex. Heard you were engaged. What can I uh, get you to drink? Beer will be fine. Great. Have a seat. <clears throat> what team do you play for, Jake? The Indians. I didn't know they still had a team. Yeah, <laughs> we got uniforms and everything. It's really great. <laughs> I've heard baseball players make very good salaries these days. Well, it depends on how good they are, I guess. How good are you? I make the league minimum. He was one of the best in baseball before he had problems with his knees. Good way to save the day, Lynn. He looking like we didn't care. What are you going to do when your career's over? I mean, you can't play baseball forever. Ha, something will come up. I thought I'd go to Hawaii, have a couple of kids to grow up to be Olympic champions. <laughs> oh, really? In uh, what event? Swimming. 200 meter individual medley. I figure it ought to be real big by then. You got the girl picked out? Yeah, I did, but I wasn't smart enough to hold on to her. Uh, you used to be an athlete, didn't you, Lynn? 200 meter individual medley. Uh, 
alternate on the 80 Olympic team. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know if I land a job. I know you're very concerned. <laughs> yeah, well, I, uh, I just wanted Linda to know what she would have had ahead of her. Uh -huh. Stay away from her. Suck my dick. Hey, now that's the encounter I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, stay away from my woman. Technically, it is a girl in the suit up. Yeah, Rick. Come on in. Rick, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. Your control hasn't come around like we'd hoped it would. How a lot of pitchers started off wild, and after they worked it out in the minors for a while, they went on to great careers. Take Ryan there. What about him? Never mind, Ryan. <laughs> read these letters for me. You can't read them, can you? Oh, Charlie! Yo, oh, man, they look nice. <laughs> I had a pair just like them. Well, after the game, I'm going to pick out a pair that's more me. <laughs> Please. Good luck. <laughs> they look good. Besides, seeing's the most important thing, son. I don't think it's that important. Those things should be illegal to wear. He can see through out of space in those. All right, let's hit the field. Never drink noble rum. Up your butt, Jobu. Jobu. <laughs> Jobu, look at that. <laughs> Bartender, Jobu needs refill. <laughs> Two down, a man on first, and the Indians clinging to a one-run lead. Wild thing, one out away from his first Major League victory. Vaughn's been looking good out there today. Don't worry, he'll blow it. Vaughn's showing some signs of fatigue out there. Slow curve. Here's a swing and a bouncing ball. Doran has a chance to make the play. He can't get it. And the A's have runners at the corners. Doran didn't get much of a jump on that ball, Monty. Hey, Doran, come on. Let's give him credit. I'm going to get him out of there, Lou. Ah, he's come this far. Let's see if he can finish. So Vaughn in a little trouble here. But I'll tell you, these Cleveland fans are great. Listen to them get behind Vaughn. Go, Rick. All of a high love you. Come on, baby. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah boy. OK, Ricky, there's two out, so forget about the runners. Get this guy at the plate. This guy's a first ball hitter. You got to come up with something nasty. And this game should be over by now. He could have had that ball. He tanked it on purpose. This is the California Penal League, Vaughn. We're professionals here. We don't tank plays for personal reasons, so cut the crybaby shit. Now you pitched a hell of a game. You want to finish it, don't you? You think you can throw a strike on this pitch? Let's get it over the plate. I want him to swing. Hell of a situation we got here. Two on, two out. You guys trailing by one in the ninth. By the way, I saw your wife at the free lounge last night. Hell of a dancer. You must be very, very proud. That guy she was with, I mean, I'm sure he's a close personal friend and all, but tell me, he doing wearing her panties on his head. Swing up! Oh, right. Pop up! Think this one's got the distance. He's got it and this ball game is over as the Dang Indians time. hold out. Yeah, lady, we winning. Knock it off, Charlie. Well, hi, Jay. Come on in. I was just wondering if I might have a quick word with Roger. Well, sure. He's in the solarium. I'll get some coffee. Oh, thank you. Hey, Jake. Hey, Roger. Listen, Raj, uh, I had to talk to you about something, and I didn't want to do it in front of the rest of the team. Tasha, what is it? Yeah, have a seat. You want a beer? Oh, no, thank you. Why you didn't come up with that grounder that Riker hit in the ninth? It was out of my reach. What do you want me to do, die for it? Could have meant the game. Oh, come on. Cut the rah rush shit, Taylor. Here after this, I go free agent. Plus, my agent and I got a couple of plans for life after baseball. So I am not about to risk major injury or to face this property for a collection of stiffs. You know, Dorn... I liked you so much better when you were just a ball player. Now, you listen to me. This is my last shot at a winner. And for the younger guys, it could be their only shot. Tank another play like you did today. I'm going to cut your nuts off and stuff them down your fucking throat. Coffee, anybody? <laughs> no, thanks. Hello again, all you Wahoo Maniacs. This is Harry Doyle welcoming you to another edition of TP Talk. The Indians have managed to win a few here and there and are threatening to climb out of the cellar. Uh-oh. Indians on the climb. They climbing up the rain. That lady is not going to like this. What you going to do, start killing them? You make my heart sing. You know, they could be a lot worse. Well, these guys ain't so fucking bad. Yeah. I thought they were going to replace this thing. Hey, no hot water in here. I'm going to get that bitch on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> to talk to the bitch? Yeah. Yeah, ho. Cover yourself with a towel first, Mr. Brown. No. Nah. Without a towel. Look at this dingling. I'm dingaling. too old to go diving in a locker. You can take it if you can. What happened to the new whirlpool we were supposed to get? Revenue problems have forced us to cut back on equipment. We'll simply have to fix the old whirlpool. You fixed it six times already. Now there's no hot water in the shower. 
pipes in this building are old and rusted. What are you ah, to keep so, my players healthy with cold water and no therapy equipment. Your players will just have to get a little tougher. What are they? A bunch of pansies. Over 162 games, even tough <laughs> guys get sprained. These guys weren't playing that good when the equipment was working. If I could get anybody to come out and watch this team, none of this would be necessary. You ought to be grateful I can still afford to pay your salary. You know what? Somebody do something about this. Jacuzzi. Harris winds and delivers. Vaseline ball swung on and grounded to short. Hey, easy play for Molina up with it. Throws to first. And this ball game is over. Has struggled but picked up his ninth win of the season. I'd like we're getting some audience members now. Lynn. Don't run. I already seen you. I need a car quick. And mine's on the other side of the stadium. Take the bullpen car. Yeah. Pieces of time. Put. <laughs> Love, I'm telling you. Which place are we at this time? Mine. This dude's a professional break in her. You follow me again? <laughs> I spotted you in the stands. I just wanted to see you play. How was it? You ought to open your stance a little. They're pitching you inside. What's all this? I'm moving in with Tom. Going uptown, huh? No. Not going uptown. Just. Want to lead a regular life, you know, like an adult, maybe? You think I can't lead a regular life? You like the life you've had. You like hanging out with the boys, living in hotels, having girls send you their underwear in the mail. It sounds like a fun life. It was a guy to serve you with a paternity suit. That was a hoax. The girl was looking for some publicity. Yeah, but you'd obviously been with her, and it happened in front of all of our friends. Those days are gone, Lynn. Just the guy trying to put his life back together. I've come back to you so many times, Jake. I can't afford to believe you anymore. I guess this is our last hurrah, then. I guess so. Lynn's still in love like a hecker. Look at her. Look at her, Lynn. Hey. I knew it. Do you ever read Moby Dick? That's what she want. <laughs> she wants some Moby Dick. When's the wedding? October 3rd. No, no, no. Where's the wedding? Oh, All Saints on Euclid. Nowhere else to go. Yeah, you know what? I need to read Moby Dick. I'm gonna go check that book out today. Who saved Ishmael at the end? Huh? Nobody. It was Queequeg's uh, coffin. Queequeg's coffin. Yeah. Quick -quick. <laughs> <laughs> the quiz. Am I invited? Him. Where? To the wedding. The cleats doesn't change anything. Jake done swept her out her panties. Jay, and he stayed the night. We're 60 and 60. Nine games out of first. Who do these guys think they are? They're the Cleveland Indians. To accept the fact they're not as bad as you hope. I don't have to accept anything. Tendence is only just beginning to rise. We can force a losing streak. We can still turn this thing around. What's left to do? You've taken away everything you can. Not everything. Hey, Ricky. I'll trade you Song of High Waffle for the disc. Edgehead. I think I got one here that's right up your alley. Crime and punishment. Thorn. Walk Saslow gave up a double to Billy Left which will bring up Haywood, who leads the league in most offensive categories, including nose hair. <laughs> when this guy sneezes, he looks like a party favorite. Haywood's a convicted felon, isn't he, Monty? Doesn't really say it here. Well, he should be. Vaughn among the league <laughs> leaders in strikeouts now, up on the rubber and ready to wear. Haywood swings and crashes <laughs> one towards oh. South America. Nothing left but a vapor trail. Vaughn continues to have problems with Haywood and the Yankees. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I swear. Hi, Lou. Donovan, what are you doing here? Well, I just wanted to get back out in the road again. I nearly pulled that one out today. Someday we'll figure out how to beat those guys. 60 and 61 is hardly a great job. With this club, it is. Veterans are starting to play back to form, and the rookies are developing faster than I thought. There's two or three potential all-stars in there. I think we're a contender right now. You really believe that, don't you? I know it. Rachel Phelps will never allow that to happen. He breaking it to him. He breaking it to him. He know the, uh-oh. Can I have your attention, please? You know her motive. I have something I think you all ought to know about. It seems that Mrs. Phelps doesn't think too highly of our worth. She put this team together because she thought we'd be bad enough to finish dead last, knocking attendance down to the point where she could move the team to Miami and get rid of all of us for better personnel. Even me? Even you, Dorn. <laughs> what if we don't finish last? He'll replace you with somebody who will. After this season, you'll be sent back to the minors or given your outright release. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I know it's a bunch of, it's a load of crap. Well, then I guess there's only one thing left to do. What's that? Win the whole 
fucking thing. Yeah. Yes! Oh! Yeah. Be careful, dude. Strong ass. Yes. Let's do it, Jake. I figure it's gonna take 32 more victories to win this thing. Every time we win, we peel a section. Yeah. Oh! Win! Please win! <laughs> Come on, Dorn. Dive in that dirt and get it! <laughs> Dave! All right. Woo! Good man, hey! They win five straight. Oh, they're gonna be taking the clothes off of her real quick. I can't wait to see. Ah! I didn't wanna see that! Oh! You know us, we're a Major League Baseball team. Nobody recognizes us, not even in our own hometown. That's why we carry the American Express card. No how far out of first we are, it's cool. You know, it keeps us from getting shut out at our favorite hotels. So you're looking for some big league clock. Apply for that little green home run heater. Look what it's done what? for us. People still don't recognize us, but we're contenders now. The American Express card. Don't steal home without it. <laughs> it's <slid him. laughs> Wild thing leads the wild bunch. The Indians have finished the regular season in a first place tie with the New York Yankees on the strength of a 4 2 win over the White Sox in Chicago today. <laughs> we haven't won anything yet, so we've got one game to go. The Indians are still savoring their victory today in Chicago, but are due to leave in a few hours. Who will start that game is still a matter of some conjecture, but the smart money is on the crafty veteran Eddie Harris or the young fireballer, wild thing, Ricky Vaughn. Yanks have announced that they will start 20-game winner Steve Jackson, a curveball specialist who was shut up. Dorn got caught cheating on TV. <laughs> you gotta be careful nowadays. Cameras are everywhere, especially if you're a celebrity, Dorn. I just wanted to tell you that I'm starting Harris against the Yankees tomorrow, even though I know it's your turn in the rotation. He's got a little more experience, a bit better record against the Yankees. But don't read anything into it, Rick. You're one of the guys that got us here. You mind if I join you? I don't think I'd be very good company right now. Oh, that's Dorn's wife. I'm like, oh, she's looking familiar. Is that Dorn's wife? Know. But that's not why I came over here. You are the sexiest man I have ever laid eyes on. Check. Check. Oh my God, he slept with... I don't think I ever got your name. Suzanne. Suzanne Dorn. <laughs> Suzanne Dorn? <laughs> Mrs. Roger Dorn. You're a great kid. He just tore Dorn's wife, Nanny, up. Hi, Jake. Yeah. Jake, Jake. <laughs> I didn't know who she was. I swear to God. Dorn did not run off the chest, but he's up with it, and it's over. Wish me luck. Mm. Before you go, there's something I'd like to tell. What? Uh, no, it's Dorn's just too big of a game to tell him this right now. You dressed out early and out to the bullpen before Dorn hits the clubhouse, okay? Serrano wants some extra power for tonight. He's looking to sacrifice a live chicken. I mean, we can't have people puking in the locker room before the game. God, next. <laughs> tell him not to worry. I'll think of something. Come on. Where's Vaughn? You seen him around? You do. Tell him I'd like to have a little talk. One whole chicken, just like you said. I think we got some <laughs> Oh man. Are you ready? Let's go, Cleveland. We're not letting the Yankees do it again. Two out in the first inning, and Harris looking very sharp so far. The sign from Taylor. The target goes up in the pitch. Ah. Here's a bouncer to third. Easy play right. for Dorn. All right. To the plate. 
Taylor snaps through the first, got him. Oh. Springer is picked off. Jackson deals. Hayes pops it up and uh. for the Indians in the fourth. Harris delivers. KY ball hit toward the hole. Hey, great shot by Dorn. Dorn's in time and he got him. Dorn looked like a new man out there. Back to the wall. Jumps and makes a great catch. Still nothing, nothing. Top of the seventh with two out. Harris has been in trouble, but has battled his way out with the help of some great defensive plays. All right, here's Burton coming on. Harris from the stretch is ready, and here he comes to Burton. He swings off the reservation, a home run, and the Yankees now lead two to nothing. I gotta shut these people up. You shut up. Well, One down, bottom of the seventh. Tanner hits a ground ball to short. First in time, and Tanner is hobbling a little as he goes back to the dugout. Dorn up. Two men out, bottom of the seventh. The Indians running out of chances. Dorn off to a slow start this year has come on lately, hitting 271 with 86 RBI. And he swings and drives a base hit to left field. And the Indians have a runner here with two men out on a sharp single to left by Dorn. And he represents the tying run. Pedro Serrano. Here's the pitch. Swings and misses. You should have gotten a live chicken. You should have got a live one. <laughs> Digging in down the strike. Jackson gets his sign and comes set. Here's the pitch. A curveball. Swung on and missed. Strike two and Serrano wasn't even close to that one. She off now, Joe Boo. You know help me now. I say, fuck you, Joe Boo. Oh. I do it myself. Joe Boo! He swings and drives with a deep left. Way back. Way back! This ball is gone! Yeah! Look at him. Sit down, Charlie. <laughs> Welcome to the happy hunting ground. The Indians have tied it at two on a two-run blast by Serrano. Pitch. Saslow hits a long drive. This one's going to get over Serrano's head and off the wall. Serrano up with it, fires it back in. And the Yankees have runners at second and third as Harris is now beginning to show signs of fatigue. Get him out of there. Comes to the plate. High ball oh, four. Yeah, and the bases are loaded. He and tired. that's going to bring up Clue Haywood, the biggest Indian killer of them all. I'm throwing every piece of junk I can think of at him, Skipper. I got enough left for one more hitter. Take a seat. We'll see if we can get this guy out for you. You want I know he hadn't done very well against this guy, but I got a hunch he's due. <laughs> Let's go, bye. You make my heart sing. I hate this fucking song. <laughs> I'm a man. Go get him, kid. Oh, for God, bro. This guy's the out you've been waiting the whole life for. Prize move by Brown here, bringing in the wild thing. Cut through the crap, Vaughn. I only got one thing to say to you. Strike this motherfucker out. Dorn is trying to win. I like the attitude, Dorn. Haywood steps in, the American League's triple crown winner. 341 average, 48 homers, 121 RBIs. He's homered the only two times he's faced Vaughn. All right, Ricky, let's get nasty. Swung on a miss. Sucker was moving, wasn't it? If it hit you, leave a two-foot hole coming out. 97 mile an hour, Vaughn. Control that thing, wild thing. Wild thing delivers. <laughs> Strike two. Maybe we ought to try something different this time. One up. One up. Spit on his ass, wild thing. And are you ready, Cleveland? Can you believe this, Bonnie? Yeah. <laughs> Take some Jack. <laughs> One down in the ninth. <laughs> Two down now as Hayes steps in, hitting 291, trying to get something going for the Tribe. The Duke, who's been overpowering down the stretch, has not been scored upon in his last 16 appearance. The Duke ready now and delivers. Here's a high chopper for short. Feet. Can he get him? No! Hayes beat it! Going somewhere, meet? About 90 feet. <laughs> a quick move by the Duke, and Hayes just beat it back. Hey! Hayes leads away again. Tie.
tie game, 2-2, two, two, two outs in the ninth and the winning run at first. Hayes out to a big lead now. Hayes goes. Here's the throw. This is make me want to watch this real baseball. It's intense. It's up to Taylor now as the Indians have the winning run in scoring position. That's a hell of an idea. God, what in the heck are they saying, y'all? Watch this. Taylor is pointing to the bleachers. He's calling his shot. Look out! Down goes Taylor. He didn't like that. He didn't like that. You pump. Piss the ball right. Come on, hairball. Yeah. <laughs> shit, man. Bring that shit to me, man. Hey, come on, hairball. Taylor is pointing at the We still going. Let's hear you, Cleveland. The Duke at the belt, Hayes away from second. <laughs> Taylor Bunch. Jake, run. Don't think about your knees, run, Jake. <laughs> Here comes the throw. He is. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. The Indians win it. The Indians win it. Oh, my God. The Indians. What's a has been? You never know what you could do. Yeah, lady. <laughs> She's pissed off that she won the World Series. Like, what type of stuff is this? <laughs> oh, screw on my wife. Well, come here. <laughs> she done. <laughs> She's so in love with Jake. She done left her dude. That was great. No, don't tell me that's been going on. Don't tell me that's been going off the whole time, y'all. Either. I got to put my phone on silent. I can't hear anything but the movie when I'm in it. I can't hear nothing on the outside. It's noise canceling. I can't hear phone ringing, nothing but the movie. That's why I be like, oh. Like all that stuff be going in and out my ears, shooting the sounds and shooting. So it's crazy. So I apologize if that was going for a minute. I hope it wasn't. But um, I like that. I mean, that was fun. You know, it, 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 it has a lesson in it as well. You, you, know, you washed up. Says who? You're a rookie. Who turn? Who, what are these terms? Who made them? I'm just as good. Give me a chance to go out there and prove my point. Watch what I can do. Has been rookie, cookie, bucky, jucky. It don't matter. So that means that means. Long story short, don't let nobody tell you that you're this. Hey, you watched uh, Mr. V. I got that Mr. Video you watched. So, I'm going to hang the wash clothes up and let them dry and wear them again. Make them look better every time I wear them. And I don't care what you say. How about that? That's how you live your life right there. That's crazy. It makes me want to watch more baseball. I'm not gonna lie, baseball is a sport that I don't, you know, watch. Maybe until like the Yankees are in like intense competition in the majors. Like, not saying I don't like baseball. It's just something I haven't sat and like watched, you know. So, we're watching it from this perspective, make it look so much fun. Maybe because it's like the, the point of view they gave us. So, I don't know. I don't know. What's the next sports movie we should get? Should we do Rudy? I know it was a what? Uh, there's another one up there on the list. There was a few on the list that almost did as good as this. So, um, what was it? I forgot which one it was. Sorry about the phone. Just got fired. But <laughs> until the next, oh, a league of a league of its own. I think that's what it was. A league of its own. A league of something. Y'all know what I'm talking about, though. But <laughs> that was fun. Until the next.